Live activities are the future of notifications on the iPhone, and here are some of my favorite apps that have already implemented this new feature. And keep in mind, this does require iOS 16.1 or later. First up is Sports Alerts, and this allows you to track sports scores straight from the live activities view on your lock screen. So all you need to do is find a currently active game. So right now we have NBA games going on right now. So if I simply tap and hold right here on this game, you will see that we have a button down there for start live activity. Now, when you tap on that and go out of the application, you can see on the iPhone 14 Pro series, you have the dynamic island up here. So if you tap and hold, that will expand that view. You can see the score just changed right there. Now, if you go to the lock screen, you can see this is what it looks like on the lock screen. And you can have multiple live activities as well. So if I go back into there, if I tap right here and then go to the other game currently going on and start live activity, you can see I can have both of these going at the same time and I can track both scores in real time from my lock screen without even needing to unlock my iPhone, which is really nice. And the really cool thing about the iPhone 14 Pro series and live activities in that dynamic island is that you can go into any application and they will stay up there in that dynamic island, which is really cool. Even if you close out of the application, like if I go here and I close out of sports alerts, you can see it still stays up there and still updates, even though the application is completely closed. And it's the same with the live activities view on the lock screen. Now, if you're a fan of soccer or football, you may have noticed that in sports alerts, live activities are not supported. So that's why the next application, FootMob, is another application you might want to check out. So all you need to do on here, it's the same thing. Just tap and hold on one of the games that you want to follow and just simply go to follow right here. And then once you go out of here, you will see it on your live activities view. Also a little tip, if you want to get rid of a live activity, you could just simply swipe over on the dynamic island or over here on the lock screen, you can swipe over and just tap on clear all and that will remove it from your lock screen. Next up is Apollo, and this is a Reddit client, but it's a lot more than just a Reddit client. So up top, you can see we have this little pixel pal is what they call it up top, and he kind of just goes around the dynamic island up there, which is pretty cool, a pretty interesting use case for this feature, but he walks around up there and talks. But anyways, the live activities part of this is pretty cool. So all you have to do is go on to a thread inside of Reddit and just tap on the three dots up here in the top right and you will see that we have start live activity right there. Now when you tap on that, it's interesting because if you go to your lock screen now, you will see comments come in live right here on the lock screen without needing to unlock your phone, which again, that's always the biggest benefit of live activities. You don't have to constantly unlock your phone and go into that application time and time again. It's just always there for you in your notification center. So basically in this thread, every time there's a new comment, it will show that right here. It will auto refresh and show me that comment right here. And then up here in the dynamic island for Apollo, you can see we have the upvotes on the left, the current upvote count and the current comment count on the right, which is pretty interesting. And if you tap and hold right there, it will show that latest comment. Next up is Pestle. And this is really good if you like to cook or bake things, and it will allow you to see the next step straight from your lock screen in that live activities view. So I'm just gonna start this recipe right here, start cooking, and you can see straight away, right here, all you have to do is be on this page, and then you swipe up and you can see, first off up top in the dynamic island, we have it right there, it shows it's step one of four. If you expand that, it shows you what that step is. I'm just gonna go to next because this one actually shows some good you know, content that you would actually want to see in that live activities view. So you can see right there, it will show you that step. So even if you locked your phone, you would be able to see the next thing you need to do in this specific recipe. You could also set a timer. So if I set a timer real quick for two minutes and started that and go up there, you could see that the timer shows up in that dynamic island. And then also down here, you could see the two minute timer over here on the right hand side, which is very useful. Next up is the application I've gotten the most questions about by far, and that is Lock Launcher. And this allows you to essentially have a dock of applications on your lock screen or up in the dynamic island. So you can see I have applications set right here. If you wanted to add them, you just simply tap on add action right here, and then you could choose action, and then you could choose system apps, Apple apps, whatever you want to add right there. I like adding you know, different settings or different Apple applications right there, whatever you would like to add. You could do that. You could also add web apps, 
and you can request to add other things as well. You could add websites, you could add a shortcut, or you could just do a custom URL scheme right there. You can get very specific with this if you would like to, but you can see mine is very simple. I just have four applications right here. When I have that set, I just tap on that island right there in the top right. And then we have this little icon right here for live activities. Make sure that's turned on. And then you have your settings down here and just tap on done. And now when we go to our lock screen, you can see we have a little dock of applications and it's also right up here in the top in our dynamic island you can see we have the applications right there which i don't find that too useful personally just because i have my dock down here i find this the most useful for being on the lock screen when i lock my phone i can instantly go into messages by simply tapping on that without needing to unlock my phone and then find that application and go into it so you can do that for settings mail you know whatever application you set right there so lock launcher is really awesome and there are a lot of things you could change in here as well so like if you tap on these three dots you can edit this you can do things like choose custom icons you could choose a custom name you can change the specific you know application that you have right there to something else if you want to without needing to delete it and add a completely new one so if you wanted to replace mail for example with a url you could do that right there next up is structured and this is a really good one for task management so if you need to remember a task and always have it showing up on your lock screen in the live activities view this is a good one for you so i'll just put in answer emails and then if we go into that task you could see we have a focus now button down here at the bottom so if you wanted to focus on just that task you could see it's right there it's set to my 15 minutes and now if i go out of that you could see it up there in the dynamic island you could tap and hold to expand that view and then for the live activities view you could see it just shows up right there as a timer if i lock my phone you could see it just shows up there as a timer on the lock screen which can be very helpful if you're trying to stay focused on one specific task and you need to always see you know how much time you have remaining for that task to keep your day as structured as possible. Next up is another application I get a ton of questions about, and that is Flighty. This is how you can track your flights straight from your live activities view on the lock screen. So I'm just gonna add a random flight right here, and you can see we have LA to Denver. Now, if I go out of here, you can see up in the dynamic island, it shows you know our time and our gate and everything right there. So we're at gate 18A, and it shows if we expand that view, all the information we would need to see. Now on the live activities view, this is extremely handy and I can already tell I'm going to use this every single time I fly just because it's very convenient to have this information on your lock screen without needing to go into your airline application and a lot of times you have to re-sign in with your face ID it's just always a hassle it takes too long this makes it very simple by always being on your lock screen you could see the times you could see if it's you know getting delayed if your flight is early you could see the gate number at a glance this is just easily one of the most useful iterations of live activities out there there right now so if you don't have flighty you definitely need to get flighty even if you don't go on flights very often when you do you're gonna wish you had this application installed next up is tick tick and this is a very good productivity to-do list application and you could also have live activities with this with your timers so if you go into one of your tasks and tap on these three dots and then go down you will see that we have the focus down here so if you set the focus mode you could set a Pomodoro timer or a stopwatch timer. So I'll just do the pomo for let's just say 30 minutes right here. And once we start that, you could see it starts this timer right there. Now, if we go out of this, it shows up in the dynamic island up top. You can expand that view as always. And the live activity is right here on the lock screen as well, updating in real time. When you lock your device, you can see it shows the 29 minutes right there, but you do have to tap it to see the seconds and you have your pause button over here as well if you would like to pause that and then we also have city mapper so if you're in a city where city mapper is available which it's unfortunately not for me so i cannot show you a real life example of this but city mapper looks very awesome if it's in your city to be able to see your walking directions your you know bus if you take the subway you could see all of the routes right there on your lock screen without needing to unlock your device. Very similar to Flighty with flights. This will be a huge benefit for those who use public transportation. So check it out, City Mapper, if you do live in a bigger city where this is available. So there you have it. Those are some of my favorite applications that are currently supporting live activities. Now keep in mind, a lot more applications will be updated in the future to add support for live activities. I believe that pretty much every application that will benefit from this will add this into their application. So just keep an eye on your app store, make sure to keep your applications updated, and you might be surprised 
surprised one day when you wake up and there's a new live activity down there for an application that you use on a constant basis. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.